Hello, so we're back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. MacBook Air. Huh? This is a nice laptop. So what's the problem with this one? Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Let's check the customer email. The customer is saying MacBook Air no starting and no charging. Was working until it went black yesterday. Have tried power cycle and charging overnight, but no starting. Screen is black, no apparent crash before it went dead. MacBook Air M1. So what do you think? Hmm? Can we fix it? Let's plug the charger and see what he's doing. Plug in the charger. The meter it is coming on. Uh, 5 volts with like 40 milliamps. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Holding the power button, yeah, nothing happened. We can say this is uh, this is bad. Now let's open the laptop quickly and try to have a look inside. Okay, so the laptop, it's open. It's looking nice inside. So what can be wrong on this beautiful motherboard, huh? Yes, yeah, someone opened the uh, opened the board before. I can see on the screws. Okay, let me grab a schematic and let's try to figure it out. Okay, I found the schematic. Let's start with the biggest power supply from this laptop, and we are looking for F five two hundred, which is here. Uh, where we can check it on this side of the board. Yeah, we have few caps, we can check the main power rail. PP bus AON. Let's see. So we have one cap, the second cap, the third cap. We can check what we have there. Ground plus and we have no voltage. I'm assuming the battery is discharged, but we can plug the charger. Let's plug the charger. Let's see, ground plus, and we have nothing. Checking with ground. We have zero ohms on the main power rail. Huh. Let's come with the power supply, 0 0.9, yeah, that's fine. And let's see what we can uh, what can be shorted there. Easy job, huh? Easy. Thermal camera. So we are coming with 0 0.9. We have some current. Yeah, not enough. Exactly on the PP bus AON here. And it's taking 1.7 amps. What is taking 1.7 amps? Okay, that's ground. Uh, whatever it is, it's on the other side of the board or it's here. Let me raise the current because the voltage is low. So the short is very short. Yeah, 3 amps. So definitely something there. <laughs> Let's raise the current. Yeah, 3.7 amps. And not sure what is there. It's exactly here. Exactly here. But the thing is, we have nothing here. One second. Uh, possible. You know what? Possible we have from the other side. One second. Or from the other side of the fuse, which means from here. No, still nothing. 
So what can get hot here? Here you have a few things. This is 3v3s2. Let's uh, let's check for short because uh, it's pretty weird what's happening here. So checking for short. This one zero ohms. This one zero ohms. Zero ohms. Zero ohms. So all capacitors are uh, are shorted basically. Around are on the main power rail. Now, to be honest with you, the capacitor are looking fine. The truck is looking fine. So uh, it is possible to be from the other side of the board. You think some alcohol can help us? Huh? We can drink it, right? <laughs> no, some alcohol on the board, I mean. Because uh, with thermal camera, I'm kind of confused. So let's see again. I'm coming exactly on the same point. The alcohol is start spinning around there inside somewhere. Basically, all the alcohol is getting evaporated equally. So I don't think it's on this side of the board. The short. Huh? What do you think? Can we push it more? Yeah, we can. That's the thing, we can. We can raise the voltage. We cannot raise the current, we can raise the voltage. Let's do it. Let's do it. 4.6 amps. Let's do it. Yeah. And we have a 1.5 volts. So from where is where is the short there? From where is it? From here or from the other side of the board? What do you think? Because for me, the short look, looks exactly here. Exactly here. It is, you know what is possible? It's, it's tricky. You, I'm, we, I'm, we are coming with the current here, but very possible the truck to get hot. So let me come with the current exactly here. But I can't, right? Yeah, I can. Okay, so coming with the current here, and I don't know, I don't know what to say. No, you know what, let's take the board out. I mean, there's no point uh, guessing. Because I can start removing capacitors. But let me take the board out just to be sure it's nothing on the other side. Not sure what can be on the other side. Yeah, give me give me a few moments to take the board out. Okay, so we are on the other side of the board. And here we have a bunch of capacitors. Yeah, and all on the main power rail. Uh, I will come with alcohol. I'm assuming one of those caps, uh, one of these caps are shorted, is shorted. Yeah, I believe it's this one. Yeah, you can see it's bubbling and also it's smoking. Yeah, that's the one. This one. <laughs> wow, what a job. Okay, let's remove the capacitor. I mean, you know, the capacitor is the only component which has a very high rate of failure. We still have short here. 
No, it's not short anymore. You can see, no short. Perfect. The capacitor we took out. Check there. Like zero ohms. Yeah, gone. Now let me replace that capacitor with a high quality one. Let's see, we have something good here. Yeah, that one is fine. This is from the plus, right? Yeah, here is another MOSFET, yeah. And yeah, here. Let's solder the capacitor. Perfect, perfect. So how about now, we can test it? Hmm? What do you think it will work? Let me cool down the board. Good. Now let's put the board back. Screen connector, touchpad. Charging port. Perfect. We don't need a speaker, right? Let's plug the charger. Let's plug the battery, actually. Good. Let's plug the charger. Well, let's see what do we have. Nineteen volts, huh? Two amps. Yeah. What about the picture? We have a picture. Let's see. We have a picture. Ah, uh, yeah. Now I have to edit the video to take out the uh, the names, but it is working and uh, charging fine. I mean, you can see the charging current, two point three amps. So what do you think? Hmm? I mean, uh, like like a perfect laptop, like proper, like high technology, nice design, top design. And the laptop is just dying by a shorted capacitor. I mean, it's a pretty stupid dead of a nice laptop. I will be okay if the Apple it will fix it. Okay, you know what? It's a shorted capacitor. Let's replace that capacitor, but they don't don't they are not doing it and you know they are swapping the boards for what for a capacitor Yeah Yeah, I'm happy I held this customer. I was expecting the job to be harder Usually you have dead CD chips and uh, you know Weird faults, but not on this case it was just you know a capacitor Okay, so I'm going to stop here. I will say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.